My name is Lisa Lindquist and I'm an application engineer here at DDR Modeso. And today we will be working with a surface model uh, to create a shell mesh. And the new feature that I will highlight here is something called the automatic prime mesh method. Uh, so we'll use this and some underlying uh, new tools that are related to the prime mesh method to create a conformal and well-structured uh, shell mesh on this assembly. But here I have this surface model uh, or assembly and it consists of uh, just surfaces. So I have extracted these mid-surfaces uh, in Discovery or Space Claim using the mid-surface tool. Um, so that's the only sort of geometry prepping I have done. And we can verify that these uh, surfaces are not connected to each other, uh, which we can do by highlighting the edges by connection under the display tab. We can thicken those lines a bit and we can just see that we have mainly single uh, connected uh, edges here. And so what we want to achieve here is um, to connect all the parts of the surfaces uh, on the mesh level uh, to get a conformal mesh. And this could be done uh, by using shared topology tool in Discovery or Space Claim. Um, this is good for some cases, but however, for a large uh, surface assembly like this one, it's not uh, necessarily the most efficient and you're not sort of guaranteed to get a good result. So for these surface assemblies, it is um, a much more efficient and better practice to, to do the connections here on, uh, in mechanical, in the meshing stage instead. So let's generate the default mesh for this assembly first of all to have a look. And this prime mesh method I'll show you is um, something that will replace the batch connections, if you are familiar with that. So the mesh here, you can see we have some quadrilateral elements uh, mixed with some triangles. And to get this prime mesh method, we'll do insert method. We'll scope it to all the bodies in the assembly. So I'll select one, do control A to get all of them and scope that. And I'll select uh, or change the method to the automatic prime mesh is what it's called. Let's generate that and, and see. Uh, so we can see straight away that it is a much more quad dominant mesh than before. We don't have those triangles. So just as sort of a standalone method, it is very efficient to get um, for creating quadrilateral meshes on surfaces. But now uh, with the prime mesh method, we also have some additional tools that are sort of built upon the prime mesh. Um, so all these next features or tools I'll show you uh, build on this. So you won't be able to use them if you don't have prime mesh scope to the surfaces. Uh, so first of all, what I want to do is um, uh, say that these holes in the uh, on the sides here, they don't matter for our structural analysis. So we want to ignore them in the mesh uh, mesh stage. And this prime mesh method has some repair topology functionalities. Uh, if you toggle that to yes, but we will instead to insert a repair topology here. And we have a bunch of options of modifications we can do, but we will look at this fill holes option. So fill hole will set to yes. We need some scoping, so I'll select all of the uh, hole edges. I'll select one, do select by all the entities with the same size, so that selects all of the hole edges for me. Um, I could have, of course, uh, created a name selection for, for these edges as well. That would have been efficient. But let's generate the mesh again. And those holes are now ignored. Um, I also meant to just reduce the global element size just a bit. Uh, it's not super important for this purpose, but I'll do that. Um, next. 
we want to create that conformal mesh. So we want to connect everything together. And that is very easily done here. Uh, again, it's built upon the prime mesh, so that's a requirement, but it's called simply connect. And uh, we want the same scoping as for the prime mesh, so we want to connect all the parts. Um, we can select everything again, or I'm just going to go into the prime mesh method again, just grab that scoping, go back to connect, and apply that. So now I have the connect tool scoped to all the bodies. Um, we have some settings for tolerances and such. Um, I'm not going to change anything for this case. It works well with the default. So now that I generate the mesh, we reduce the element size a bit. And these edge colorings have now changed to, to verify that we have connected the edges. And we have a conformal mesh. For a large surface assembly, it is also a good tip or a good practice to perform a modal analysis uh, on this to verify that all connections have been done uh, correctly. So, um, the modal analysis will give you the mode shapes and show sort of the dynamic characteristics of the model so that we can get a hint if uh, all connections have been done uh, properly. So I have a already solved modal analysis of this uh, of this structure. So the mesh settings are the same. And uh, just looking at the natural frequencies, we can see straight away that we don't have any frequencies at or near zero, meaning we don't have any rigid body modes and nothing is obviously disconnected. But just uh, looking also at the mode shape, we can see and visually confirm that everything seems to be moving relative to each other in the way that we intended to. So just a little tip to perform or use modal analysis for checking your connections there. Uh, okay, one final thing here uh, with this surface assembly is uh, that I want to consider the case that we actually do want to include these holes uh, in, our, in our mesh and analysis. Uh, then let's suppress this repair topology so we, that we don't actually suppress the holes. And instead, I want to show you just a third uh, new tool then also connected to the prime mesh, and it's called quad layer. So this lets us um, create a nice structured mesh around holes or edge loops um, and get good uh, quad mesh around that. I'm not go going to go into the details of the settings here that much, but feel free to have a look at it in the help if it's of interest. I have found some settings that work well for this case. So I'll just select all those holes again, scope those. Quad layer type, I'll toggle to edge loop. Then I had an element size of uh, 30. I want two layers of quad elements around the holes. And layer height, I had 40, growth rate 1.1. And let's generate this mesh again to see if how the mesh is result around the holes. So here we can see the effect of that quad layer, adding two layers of quads as I specified around those holes. Good. Uh, that was the surface model. Uh, demonstrating the prime mesh and how easy it is to connect everything uh, through connect. So this is a, a good alternative instead of using shared topology.